Hey everyone, welcome to the Games You Are Summit 2021. We are your Summit co-directors. My name's Lainey, this is Jess. Uh, we've been working together to bring you the Summit for nearly three years. Uh, what originally was supposed to be an in-person event back in May 2020 here in Montreal, it was now to celebrate the summit's 10th anniversary, uh, but we're, we're thrilled to be able to finally bring you this event after we had to cancel last year and bring you those speakers that we were all supposed to see together a year ago. For the first time, we can host an online event. So it used to be of something that was available to only a few hundred people in San Francisco is now available today for a thousand attendees across two different days of talks. We, of course, need to thank all of the people that helped make this event possible. Canceling the event last year was hard, and we can't say thanks enough to all of the many people that have been working for that last year to be able to bring you this event today. We, of course, need to thank our wonderful summit committee who've been working so hard to be able to make the transition from the live event last year in Montreal to be able to have this online event today. So a huge thank you to our summit team leads as well as to our team, team assistants for making all of this be able to be possible today. And of course, we couldn't have put on this event without the contributions of our volunteers and committee content reviewers. Lastly, we want to say a huge thank you to our sponsors. It's been uncertain times for the summit and many other events like ours. And these companies stepped up to ensure that we could provide this event free of charge to as many people from our community as possible. These four companies are our top tier sponsors this year and have supported the summit for many years. So we want to give a special thank you to Xbox, Ubisoft, EA Playtesting, and Activision. We also want to thank Marketing Systems Group, Player Research, People Fun, Interpret, Paradox Interactive, Playtest Cloud, Pickpock, and PlayStation Studios. Without the generous support of all of these companies, this event would not have been possible. So we have them all to thank for all of us being here. Thank you, Lainey, for walking us through all of the people and sponsors that we are grateful for in order to put off this event in the format that we're doing it. Um, so uh, as our first, one of our first, I believe our first online, online summit for the Games User Research um, Conference, we have two full days of talks happening in two different Zoom webinars. Um, all of you should have received the email in which to register for those webinars. So go back into your inbox. Um, if you're struggling to find maybe webinar two, for instance, the link is directly in that the, the email we sent out two weeks ago and about 24 hours ago. So look out from that email from eventbrite.com. Um, using those webinars, you'll have access to both streams and you can freely switch between the two tracks as much as you would like. Um, on the next couple of slides, I'm gonna be walking us through um, the schedule and some other activities. So if you've got a QR code reader app handy on your phone. I encourage you to pull that up because you'll be able to, um, like on this slide, for instance, if you'd rather prefer not typing in the bit.ly link we've provided, you can scan that QR code and that will pull up the summit schedule. Alternatively, you can visit the summit website, which is again linked in those handy emails we sent out prior to the event. Um, and you'll have um, all the information you need to find the talks that we have, talks and other sessions we have avail available across the next couple days. Um, I'm going to also walk us through some of the fun social activities we have um, prepared for you all. Uh, so we do have a bit of a surprise. We don't want to reveal too much, but we promise this will be fun and, and delightful. So we encourage you to join us on Zoom webinar one or track one tonight at 6.30 p.m. after the conclusion of our talks. Um, and it'll just be a nice, fun, pleasant way to wrap up the day's activities. Now, if you wanna stay on a bit longer in the evening and connect with other games user researchers and, and other conference attendees, we do have an informal game night um, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern um, and going up until about eight, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. And that is also something you can sign up for in a Google Sheet that was also sent out via email. If you need help uh, finding that, feel free to reach out to our team via Discord. We uh, will be more than happy to point you in the right direction for that. And then finally, our big 
event in term our big social event to really cap off the overall conference is a party a virtual party through gather town gather town so typically we would have um, a post summit social in person at, you know at a local uh you know venue of some kind um, we are taking that 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 event and uh, letting us mingle in in a virtual space. So it, it's a lot of fun. If you've never used gather.town before, really encourage you to try it out. Um, really fun, interactive way, much more fun than Zoom, trust me. So give it a shot. Um, come mingle with us on, on gather town. And then in, in terms of communication during the event, want to encourage you to also consider visiting our Discord. Again, linked in those handy emails we sent out prior to the event. We do have dedicated text channels for Summit Talk. So if you want to keep the conversation ongoing, we encourage you to uh, seek out those conversations there. And it's also where our interactive sessions are, are. The interactive session is going to be happening via breakout rooms in Zoom. So yes, we did find a way to make that happen on Discord. Excuse me, I believe I just said Zoom. I mean Discord. So please visit the Discord uh, for the breakout rooms that are going to be happening 11:15 um, a 11:15 a.m. Friday. And then just to conclude, we, me and Lainey, really want to emphasize that. This conference, like our community overall, whether it's on Discord or on Twitter, um, we we are a safe space, and we want to emphasize that by bringing up our conference code of conduct. Um, essentially, the bottom line is we do not tolerate harassment of conference participants in any form, whether this is a physical event or, in this case, an online event. So we do have um, our committee members and volunteers um, and other attendees are looking out for any behavior that could be negatively directed at another attendee. And we will be strongly enforcing that throughout this event. Um, so, you know, respect one another, respect different opinions, respect, um, you know, just respect each other. Um, we are dedicated to providing a harassment free experience for everyone, regardless of gender, gender identity, expression, age, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, ethnicity, religion, and technology choices. So please be mindful of that. We, um, we are creating a safe space for all attendees. And if you'd like to find the full conference code of, con con code of conduct, please you know, pull up your QR, co QR code reader or uh, visit our conference website. We have that full code available um, and encourage all attendees to be mindful of it and let us know if you see anything that is potentially in violation of this code of conduct, um, we wanna know about it. So feel free to reach out to um, a conference committee member on Discord. And without any, that, that concludes our presentation uh, to kick things off. We just wanna thank you and for your time for being here and hope you enjoy. Um, like Lainey said at the start, we've been driving the planning for a little over two years now. So uh, myself and Lainey and the rest of the summit committee hope you enjoy your time and we look forward to hope, uh, I would assumingly and hopefully uh, in person again real soon. So thank you. Thanks, everybody. Yeah.